No, we're not going there. Oh, I guess we're going there. <laughs> thanks, guys. Thanks. I appreciate that. Oh my god, what on earth? Wow. <laughs> I'm not finding that body. <laughs> so we're on the Barbary Coast, apparently. Welcome, patron, to the Barbary Coast, where every haircut is an adventure. Aye, and if you're wanting a haircut, you'll have to wait until I'm finished with Captain Rottingham here. Are you guys pirate barbers? Ten, nine, eight. Here it comes. It's coming from the building. Change course. Set thrusters to full. It's just fireworks, right? No! Ah! Whoops. Uh oh. Uh oh, that is I expect you to faithfully carry out my request to teach a lesson to the thief Una. You need not kill her, but I have no qualms about it if you deem it necessary. Hulda! Hulda! I feel so betrayed. That was my cheese, Hulda! What have we here? Orad has transformed you into a new source of recreation. You, of course, don't survive this treatment. It's tough to make friends around here. And this is exactly... <laughs> okay, we're getting a replay of that one clip. This is exactly what happened. Now we have to make our way back. Ridiculously overloaded with all these materials. This is still fine. This is still not a problem. Watch out for that. <sighs> you think you're so scary, sir, but you're dead. You don't even know it. Wow, who knew Struthiomimus was so strong? Hey, maybe you can use your saber to make another bridge. What an idea. That's wacky. Who to thunk? Great, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, Serana. <laughs> I probably ought to kill that guy. Where are you? Oh. Climb tree. This tree is dead and seems to be free of the slick secretions some of the others generate. You begin to shimmy your way up the snag. Crack. 
<laughs> Holy log jams, Batman. You almost ate the big one. Well, I mean, that was kind of what I was thinking we needed to do, though not the way I was expecting to do it. The hell was that? I've never seen that before. You're down in the grass, huh? Nope. Totally you not. Over there. You got my back, right? Let's go there. It's no. Ho no. What? What do you? What? BB, what the hell? Oh, you are so lucky. And holy crap, that right gulp. Oh, I found my own echo. That's amazing. While they appreciate human sacrifices, the eldritch gods of yore are seldom enthused about being summoned to court clothes. Oh my god. Looks like the water might be too shallow for the water wheel. Uh oh, are they hungry? Maybe this is more like vanished than I thought. Oh god, they're out of food. Okay, this is definitely reminding me a little bit more of Banished. Thank you so much for playing, but you've doomed the whole human race. Yep. Yep. These games, they, they will mock you viciously for failure. Yara recently requested assistance in calculating whether the mass effect is a phenomenon that occurs only in our universe, or in all possible universes. It may be that our laws of physics only occur in a finite area, a bubble, if you will, in an ocean of other possibilities. I am speculating whether, if you went far enough out, or created enough energy, you could reach a place where one plus one equaled three. Everything would change. All energy, all matter, all the underlying math of the universe would be unrecognizable to us. Why? What were you thinking? I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> oh my god, so many- what is going on? Why are there so many dead people? Do we still- oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I um I can't help but notice that this might be a little bit bugged because in spite of the fact that she's standing there and talked to us, the game does seem to think that Barth here is dead. Coward almost got us killed. Take you. Now she is no longer dead. She's also called Ramira. Oh. Whoop. Whoops. Not that the game would ever throw anything really terrible at us. Look over there! A new water frog! Ah! Giant Chara spider? What the hell? That's so disgusting. Ooh. I hate it.
Oh, hi. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, Uthgert. <laughs> but it was stream-related stuff, and it went incredibly well, so I'm very happy with the results. There we Is he just taking a nap? I mean, of all the possible things he could break out of his enclosure and do, that's probably about the best, but come on. That's a handy cloak. Too late. Oh, whoa. Oh, crap. Ugh. Let me guess. You escaped with only a flesh wound. Rude. Sorry, Edgard. <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing. <laughs> Oh, my God. It's so nice to see the traps can cause trouble for the other... Oh, boy. Ooh. So, the missing handle was booby-trapped? What did you do? Well, I used my cleverness to outsmart the trap. <laughs> <laughs> then I used my cleverness to hide. What on earth is Um, hmm. You, uh, you, you carry on carrying on. Faked me out. Rude. What? Damn it, and Stara. <laughs> ah, oh, Jesus. Make a little help here.
you find a single silver coin, carefully polish it and place it in your pouch. What a way to make a living. Good evening, folks, and welcome back to the library floor. Tonight, we're going to be playing some Grounded for the first time in quite a few years. How's everybody doing? Greeny, it's good to see you. Aaron Lore, what's up? What was that hell of a clip to have pre-roll today? I'm very curious now. Um, Prob not a person, good to see you again. CD, always a pleasure. California, how are you doing? How's everybody doing? Really good to see you all. Uh, hello. Oh, the ch <laughs> the Chara spider. My favorite. <clears throat> yeah, this is going to be an interesting stream. Uh, so we're going to have to see how this goes. You scanned both Leviathans. Very nice. Um, okay, never mind. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything. I do have to ask which two Leviathans you mean. That's all I will say. Okay, so... Uh, let's see. Is this going to pick up? I took a little bit of time before I started stream to try to get this working. Ah, there we go. It does work. Okay. It defaults to 80%, which I think is kind of nice. This game actually has quite a raft of accessibility features. Large text, wide interaction modes. It's got... Spider preview. Let's take a look at these. Okay. Actually, you know, level one's not too bad. At least you can still see some of the legs. No. One's as high as I can go. Hey, Bob. How's it going? Ah, oh, the Reaper and Ghost. Okay, gotcha. Fun, interesting fact that I don't think counts as a spoiler that I can actually tell you. You know the reef backs that float around near the top, the really gigantic things with the shells and all the stuff on, encrusted on the back? Those are also leviathans. Leviathan is just kind of a classification of creature that means it's really, really big. So you can have the game colorblind mode. Oh, wow, they've actually got several types of colorblindness. That's neat. I like that. Highlight objects. Okay, I like the not base buildings thing. I think that would probably get obnoxious. You can have it read to you, though we're not going to do that because I wouldn't care for that. I've obviously, I've got subtitles on. We've got subtitles text set to medium with a background because I think that's probably helpful to people. Uh, I didn't change any of this and I didn't do any of this, although there are some interesting options there too. I like the text to speech stuff. The ghost destroyed your Cyclops? Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I try not to get my Cyclops too terribly close to me. There's a three-legged crab thingy in the Grand Reef. They're called Sea Trader Leviathans. Oh, I forgot about them, Aralor. <clears throat> yeah, careful about saying things like that, Bob. That's very specifically the thing I was trying not to spoil. <laughs> Uh, oh, yes, let's apply. That sounds good. This game contains spiders that are often much larger than the player. If you're super not okay with that, you can enable an acro uh, uh, arachnophobia safe mode in the accessibility options. This is a visual-only setting that does not affect gameplay or difficulty. Okay. So we... I, I wasn't going to use it at all, but we'll go with level 1 just so they look a little less spider-like. But you can still get the context from the legs of what the spiders are actually up to. I think that's a reasonable kind of thing. 
Hey, Hammer, how's it going? It's good to see you. Okay, I think we're gonna go single player. Wait, what? You've gotta be kidding me. My computer cannot possibly still have my info from the last time I played this. I have to try this. We're gonna start a new game regardless, because I have no idea what we did last time. It's been years. Oh, okay, I thought that was a loading screen. It looks like it's prompting for the game to load, and it doesn't have one, so that's fine. I remember when my Cyclops glitched out, it was a pain to regain the stuff you had in it, yes. No, Steam Cloud doesn't seem to have it. That's okay. Let's see... Oh! They have creative mode with and without bugs? That's really cool. You can do custom, mild survival, medium survival, and whoa! <laughs> yeah, I'm very curious about this custom. Customize. Oh, it disables achievements if you do that, though. So you've got mild, medium, whoa, difficulty. I like those names for it. That's pretty good. All recipes unlocked and free. Bugs spawn. The requests. Bugs ignore players. There's building integrity, player damage, friendly fire, pet invincibility, hunger, thirst drain, stamina drain, equipment durability, food spoiling, menus pause the game, action reactivity, and backpack items on death. Some options cannot be changed in game. Okay. So I think we're going to do a standard survival type experience. We're going to go medium, I think. So that enables achievements. And then maybe eventually we'll play with a custom one. I found a time capsule that had a fish named Mr. Hov. Oh, was it one of the little, like, uh, you know, the hover fish with the eight things off the side of it? Either way, that's pretty hilarious. We're going to be... My name's Peter. My friends call me Pete. Yeah, we'll go as him. I swear on my life I will just shut up and let you enjoy. This is going to be fun. I've played it once before, CD. I played it when it was in very early access, so I don't know that how similar it is to what I've experienced back then. And I don't actually remember it very well. It's said to take care of him, so you will. That's awesome. I actually kind of like it when people do those, uh, you know, the transferring on pets to a new life and new circumstance kind of thing. Although it is really sad when the person just eats the fish right off the bat and then only then notices the message that came with it. <laughs> okay, we're going to start the game. Yard world name. Did I say hi to you, Greenie? I think I did, but I can't remember, so I'm going to say it again anyway, just in case. How's it going, Greenie? I hope all is well today. You can't run from me, you foul beast! <laughs> you think you have smarted me? The mighty Muldoon? I don't think so, Yoke's Girth! Stay tuned for what happens next on Yoke's Girth. Now a word from our sponsor. Kids, Yoke's are you ready for a new wild and wacky Puncho fruit flavor? Introducing Apricot. It's a punch to the gut. So stop by, fill up, and make sure you get your Billy Hog hot dog before you get away. Good morning, Brook Hollow. Today is October 20, 1990. This is your news. Okay, 1990. We have a special breaking report. The police department has released information that more local teenagers have gone missing. They were last seen earlier this week, and the only connection between the teenagers is that they are all students at Brook Hollow High School. This could be linked to the disturbing trend of other possible abductions and missing teenagers. Thank you for the shout out, Sarah, though. I appreciate it. If anyone has seen the teenagers or has any other information, please contact the police department. The mayor of Brook Hollow has put a curfew into effect for anyone under 18 starting tonight. Now to other news. In the business world, often practical... I don't remember this intro. I like the newscaster's voice quite a bit. Nice CD. Anna, how's it going? It's good to see you.
It is not the first time. Actually, when it first came out in early access way back on Xbox Game Pass, I played it a little bit. But then I got rid of Game Pass, so I haven't touched it since. It's been a long time. It's been long enough that I don't really remember a whole lot about the game, to be honest. Yeah, it, it's it's been so long, and the game has changed so much that I felt comfortable putting first playthrough in my tags tonight. Because for all intents and purposes, it may as well be. Whoa. It is. It is. It looks like you look at my uh, going live tweet, I actually Where included a gif of Honey, I Shrunk the Kids because I don't have any clips of this game to use instead. All right, Pete. Remember your scout training. Step one, get your bearings. Oh, that's creepy. Look at that. Storage for kids. I don't remember this container. May I have your attention, please? We have a milestone five-year resubscription. What? Wow. Just... Wow. Winters! Holy crap. 60 months? Five freaking years? That's amazing. Okay, so where are we? Something round up there. George for five kids and only four to choose from. <laughs> that was a good one with Ty. Okay. Oh, wow. My scout training doesn't have a merit badge for Signal this. Signal detected. What's that? It sounds like a radio signal. It must be being transmitted from nearby. Picked up a mushroom. You can eat consumable items via the inventory menu. Pebble it. Also, this is my first weapon-like thing. It's also your birthday! Happy birthday, Three Winters! You started it right by sleeping through half of it. I approve. That is definitely the sign that you're doing things the right way. Well, logic dictates that there are probably more of these stations around. Maybe if I keep searching, I'll find some clues. Or someone. Science! New recipes? Oh, man, I love it. This game is very science-oriented, it seems. And I like this character. He's very logical. Spiky sprig, trail marker, roasting spit, sprig fence, plant fiber. Common resource analyzed. Peblet spear, peblet axe. Okay, uh, what else can we analyze? Mushroom. Brain power unlocks. We probably want the axe. Like we've got that. Can I not? Oh, okay. Next charge at 8.33. So we have to wait about 20 minutes. Yeah, there are a little bit more material. We get anything a little bit stronger than our spiky thingies. Technical term. Offline. Unpowered. Okay, let's see here. Hmm. 
So I'm guessing that's instructions on how to analyze stuff. A little slurp, find water. How hard can it be to find water? Hey, look, there's water right here. Good. There's water. Look at the size of that thing. It's probably the size of a, a bathroom. <laughs> Slurp nasty water. This is probably not a good idea. It's the worst that could happen. Fine. Find and eat some food. Oh. Worse than my mom's Brussels sprouts. That's true. Could be worse. Survival. Find clean water. See, it didn't specify that at the start. Just said find water, if I remember right, which is questionable. Science. Sprig bow and stuffed gnat. Yes. Unlocked level one. New recipes deciphered. Peblet hammer, crude rope, fiber bandage, clover poncho, clover hood, clover shin guards. Let's go this way. For no particular reason other than the it seems like the way to go. I'm sure the fact that all this grass is dead and dying is not in any way, shape, or form a bad sign. Candlejack, how's it going? Oh, we have ads on the go already. Sorry, folks. I'll be back in a moment. Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> Uh... Oh... <laughs> it's gonna blow! Get ah. ready for close combat! Oh. I... Wow. I, I was not expecting that. Now you'll see why I'm the most dangerous assassin on Taris. You cannot win. I don't know, we're doing pretty decently so far. Sorry, I didn't actually mean to kill you. But the, what, this one here? This is not a shuttle. I mean, it, it's comparable. It's considered to be a sort of shuttle, but this is a Federation runabout, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I love that you can get so up close to it. Look at that. That looks so nice. Ugh. They've done some good stuff with this just since the time I've been away. I forgot the grease is flammable. Okay, we're back. Thank you. That's a soldier ant. Wow, you can really tell the difference from here. All right. Probably don't want to bother the ants.
Maybe this isn't the way to go after all. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Aaron Norm. I have no idea. I have no idea. I could show you if I were in game, but uh, without context, there's no way for me to really describe it. Whoops. Is that where I came from? I think that's where I came from. The water. This doesn't sound in any way terrible. Oh, we have more dead grass. What is this thing? Zap clump. I think a rock would be a busking tool. After dying, you will respawn at your last saved respawn point. You can set your respawn point at rest locations like a lean-to. Okay, and it's Salty got the... Detective Weevil, hot on the trail. He's got a nose for the truth. So it's, uh, you know, not completely toothless death. You do lose inventory. But you can go get it back again, so that's not so terrible. And okay, see, so you can sprint. You do have a stamina gauge to watch out for, though. are still here. Dry grass chunk. Analyze a plant fiber and a analyze. Hmm, curious. Avidoidia. Had to put your five hobbit children to sleep. Ah. I hope they're doing well. You didn't miss a whole lot with the intro. I just said hello, we're playing Grounded. That's kind of an abbreviated version, but it gets to the gist of it. Now, where did I put that start location? Wasn't as far as the dry grass. Hmm. We don't have a mini map of some sort, do we? Oh, we're approaching from the wrong angle. There's got to be another path that I can take back. That pathway. Hey, 
Hey, a common example of the Fermicidae family. Great. That would be... That would be that thing, I guess. Okay, what the heck? Where is my start location? Hang on, am I on the wrong side entirely? Came at it from near the entrance. Ah, okay, so we're off this way. There it is. There it is. One sudden change I made shortly after starting this game was to toggle sprint instead of hold to sprint. I'm okay with holding to sprint so far. I might change that later, but for now, I think I'm okay. Science. Plant lamp, workbench, sap sconce, and stem palette, plank palette, and dry grass partition. Can't believe Dragon Age flew under my radar this long. How's it going, Rolf? Oh, and you want a terrible pun or dad joke. Okay, we can do that. We can do that. Why did the man attach two snakes to the front of his car? He needed some new window vipers. There you go. You've scanned four leviathans. Nice, prob. I'm continuing my cities game right now. I got to know you by first watching your city streams, but then stuck around. Continue to follow because of your commercial movie description announcer voice and warm personality. Thank you, California. We're not done with cities. Don't worry. I am a variety streamer. I play a lot of different stuff, but we're not done. I always come back to cities eventually. I'm sure that sound is nothing to worry about. Can I not analyze that? But, no. Okay. What the heck? Is that a telescope? Keyboard mouse with time. Literally did a 360 spin in my game thinking that sound was from the game. Excellent. Spacer safety test. Power fluctuations are within an acceptable range. The machine itself continues to operate as expected. Weatherproofing of the platform components is holding up quite well. Pylons, however, are a finicky trio. Maintaining the beam angles requires regular obstruction removal. The yard is simply too alive for precision instruments. Oh, Euclidean space, you fickle mistress. Reminder, check embiggening cell diagnostic before end of day protocols. I love embiggening. Okay, there's no obvious way to do anything without power and signal yet. An animated series adaptation of the game is in the works with Brent Friedman developing the series. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What game is this? Are you talking about Grounded? That's so cool, Greeny. 
I would watch the heck out of that. I think. I mean, I guess a lot's going to have to depend on how much emphasis they place on the spiders in the show. Something's moving something around pretty Here. Some kind of... Oh, that's a spider. Get out of here. You know, I'm actually starting to regret even putting on level 1 arachnophobia. The eight legs are kind of a nice giveaway that, hey, there's a spider. Without that, it's actually a little bit harder to tell that it's not just some other kind of bug. Ice caps mints. Myself. A fool like Klein, like Kaminsky, like Schmeichel, like some all shelter of get some sleep. Build a lean to. Hey, Jim Racer, how are you doing this evening? Those of you who are unfamiliar with Brent Friedman, he was a producer on Dark Skies and Star Trek Enterprise. I was not familiar with him. That's cool. That's good to know. not just use this as a shelter because it seems a lot safer than building a lean-to. Arrow, might hat, stuffed mat, might, buzz on the rocks, oh god, might mount. You're probably not going to know, but how many Leviathans are in the game? Um, I probably do know, but I would have to sit here and try to mentally count them. I think there's at least seven or eight. Brood rope and plant slurry. Yes, you can, but you can't rest in there, thus not passing the night. Oh, shoot. Uh, drink a dude. How do I drink a dew drop? I thought I had picked some of those up. Better than starving, I think. Where's a chopping tool? Crafting maybe seems like it could be important. One tablet axe. Nope, no hints. 
If we die, that's fine. We can die. It's a learning experience. Let's see. Crude rope. Super build. Is the hint always drink the nasty water? That seems reasonable. Oh, wow. I will say, I think the game has gotten a heck of a lot nicer than it was. destroyed it. Oh, no, I didn't. Hey. Nice and clean. There we go. He didn't die. Much. Can't sleep until 1800. Okay, fair enough. Science. Windowed grass wall, grass table, triangle wall, half grass wall A and B, grass door, grass wall, and plant fiber. Okay. Death is very much a part of this game. Acorn shovel, eye patch, canteen. Canteen sounds pretty good. Sounds are going to get to me eventually. Going back in here temporarily. So on a whim, I decided to visit the IMDB for Baldur's Gate 3, and while Jahira has been added with the voiceover, Minsk and Mercer are not added yet. Now that just takes time, I'm sure. I'm not sure who's responsible for adding people on IMDB. The ability to build... Build up brain power points and unlock new things through it is a new addition since last you played. Yeah, I was thinking I didn't recognize that. Super quit. I like that. All right. Yeah, I don't think we have anything new to analogs. build. Fiber bandage. Let's make a can a grub high. Okay, I'm gonna need some clover. It's over this way if I recall.
Access done? Damn, Greeny, you're on the ball. Be a few months of mine. It's a little disappointing. Oh, fine. Over. It's a little disappointing that your gear has durability, but at least it seems to have quite a bit of durability. At least relative to other games with stuff that has durability. Now, very important question about this game that you are free to answer, because it's not going to be a spoiler, I'm specifically asking. Is it possible to find four-leaf clovers, and do they bring good luck? Also, the heckin' awesome, look at that. Really only have to deal with the single W2 since I don't need to claim anything from Twitch. Has to be over 6k in earnings. It's a quick and easy process. Yeah. Oh, I need more crude ropes. Need more plant fiber. Craft available? What? A breezy poncho crafted from clovers and plant fiber. Why can I not craft it? Oh. Oh. Workbench. Of course. Never mind. I need three grass planks and then I can do. Yonder lady of the clover forest, on what errand does the day find you? Okay, that's just slowly. Yes, in theory, but you'd have to be lucky. Okay. Four leaf clover is kind of pointless than an item to boost luck when it takes high luck to see obtain. You could never have too much luck. The luckiest people tend to be those who luck into additional luck. So no, I don't think it's pointless. Okay, and now we suddenly need... More stuff. Uh, I didn't. Uh oh. I'm lucky all these bugs that keep wandering by are not hostile. I feel a little less squishy now. A little. 
Oh, we've got a few of them wandering around. That's cool. few clover leaves. Storage basket, clover table, plant fiber. Now, actually... that. The first you've ever earned from Twitch it also, you're still learning with that. Yeah. How goes the shrinking? How's it going, Tigerung? Oh, we've got ads in progress. I'll be back in just a moment, but so far so good, Tigerung. I haven't died yet. Yet. What? You're kidding me. Wow. There you are. It... what? But... Uh, <sighs> it dumped it right and literally next to me. Okay, now they can get out of there before they get eaten alive. Meteorologists are issuing a thunderstorm warning for the coming days. Citizens are advised to stay indoors. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. A thunderstorm is battering the city. Stay indoors until the storm has passed. A meteor strike has occurred. Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. Got about you. Get out of my face. My god, it's still only 48. Thank you. I know, I know. I just, I often forget, but I do know. Okay, I'm back. Yep, I remember it very well, Greeny. Weevil nose. 
exactly what I've been longing for all this time. Thank you, Wadai. Snacking on Milano mint cookies and carbonated apple grape cider? That sounds delicious. The follow up clip mixed with my cat video of a cat doing a cat growl and the really zombies of Fallout like growled back. It was really funny and worth. That's cool. I like it when different video sources interact that way. Okay. Raw weevil meat. Science. Weevil shield. Stuffed weevil. Weevil mount. And weevil nose. Yes, mask. That's hilarious. Red ant arm guards, red ant knee guards, red ant helmet. Oh my god, it's like samurai armor. That's amazing. Or maybe not armor, but at least the helmet is vaguely samurai like. Set your respawn point at your lean to. Now, what? Where's our survival guide? When your character's health bar fully depletes, they die. Clicking respawn will revive you at your last saved respawn point. Be changed at any time at a rest structure. But that's fantastic. How do we do it? Ah. There we go. You can see your respawn point as well as other discovered landmarks on your map. What? Uh, we do have a map. That's awesome. Okay. Ice caps, mystery thingy, the baseball is that way. I throw floaters and stalker eggs in my bioreactor. I think Reginalds are the best thing to keep in your bioreactor, if I remember correctly. Some mechanics are less intuitive. Yeah, that's okay. It's a port from a console game, so you got to expect some iffiness with the controls. A little disturbing that that looks like one of the Pac-Man ghosts is the uh, home location. You know, I have to applaud them for the sound design in this game. They pretty good. Are wrecking my and crossing. Get the heck out. Look at this mess you made. Rude.
Farming Reginalds takes too long? What are you talking about, Wetai? Pick a couple of Reginalds inside an aquarium and you're good to go. If I find an egg good, otherwise just a plant cutting will do. You think you're safe. And I think he was right, because I have no idea where he ended up. But that's okay. see what we can do now so what else might be good to make and what are our quests so we've done most of these we still have to do the mysterious machine roasting spit If I may have your attention, thank you so much for the tip. Let Juduri enter that into the records. Thank you so much, I really appreciate that. California, that is very, very kind. Very generous. I really appreciate it. It really adds up. Storage basket. A primitive basket that holds up to 20 stacks of items with marking technology so you can tell what's inside from the outside, but not very secure. Plank pallet, a platform on which grass planks can be neatly stacked. Clearly, that's a thing that you should do, because it's not easy to keep them neatly stacked. Stem pallet, a platform on which weed stems can be neatly stacked. Trail marker, transmits a trackable visual signal so you can find your way back to a location. Your entrance fee for the night, the stream is always free, man. Tips are always appreciated, but never required. Same deal with subscriptions and bits and all of that good stuff. Patreon. Uh, yeah, what's the other one? Coffee, Kofi. Great to have, but never required, ever. Acorn shell. Red ant part. I guess I probably should have tried to fight the ant, should of fighting ants. Do I have my clover hood now? I don't remember if I made it or not. I did not. So let's do that. At the workbench. Of course, because why would you workbench? That fuss and stink bug part, lovely. In guards. So we're all geared up. We analyze these. No. Feeling a little safer now. Getting later in the day now, isn't it? You're back. Plank pallets make sense for another reason, but I'll let you find out about that later. Got it, with I. Don't know what to do in Subnautica now? Are you looking for direction? Because I can give you that. May or may not be useful, but uh, that's a whole other matter. Oh, it's getting late, but it's not actually late enough yet.
You run away. Choke it down, Pete. You guys are making an ant trail way too close to where I make my camp. I have to ask you to knock that off. Okay, 40 more. We can sleep. Okay, well, what I would suggest, if you can't find anything else to do, explore some of the areas that you've been to before, and in particular, go over the list of points of interest that the game has provided for you, and read all of the data entries that you've collected from them, because there will usually be hints and clues or further direction in there that maybe you overlooked. Here's some Kabuto crafted from a mix of red ant parts. This is hauling... Okay, you really have to kill some red ants. Or otherwise find some red ant lootable. Spiky sprig, a weaponized sprig with thorns at the end. Need thistle need and more crews. Got the... Oh no, I don't have the hammer. Need more pebblets and rope. Okay. I get the impression we're going to be using a lot of crude rope. Dying of thirst again. It's fun. <laughs> I meant in game, but thank you, Greeny. Raw nat meat spoiled. look like they might become candy, but they're not water. I do. I should probably learn how to eat soon, too. 
Oh, oh, hang on. One red ant heart. Where did my water go? Oh, 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 oh. Just noticed that I should look in codes and clues? Yes, excellent idea. Rude, sir. Wrecking all my stuff. Okay. I need, oh, I need mite fuzz, that's weird. And I need a red ant head. Ellen Ray, how's it going? It's good to see you. Have you heard about the NFL player Hamar, Damar Hamlin and what happened to him? Nope, I don't follow the NFL at all. Has a foundation set up that had a goal of raising $2,500, and since the events of Monday night, people have come together to support him. That's pretty cool, CD. I, I don't know what happened, though. I do, like I said, I don't follow the NFL whatsoever. I know nothing of anything that's happened. Emergency, we're being raided. What? Alera, Eld, Jaduri, and all librarians report to hospitality stations immediately. Have library guards at the ready. Tap girl! What the heck? Thank you so much for the raid. How are you doing this evening? It's wonderful to see you. Folks, if you don't know Tap Girl, make sure to go give her a follow. She is a fantastic friend to the channel and um, an amazing content creator. So you'll enjoy all the time that you spend over there with her and her community. What's going on in LA and everybody coming over from Tap Girl Stream? Hi from the iceberg. It's good to see you. happening, Bokikio. Uh, let me see. Golf with your friends. Man, it's been a while since I've played that one. I hope all is going well. Uh, so how did golf go? Tell me all about your stream. Folks, if you've never been here before, my name is Gordon McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a wide variety of mostly single-player story-driven games with excellent character and narrative development. Follow some strategy games, sandboxy games, retro RPGs, classic adventure games, and the occasional world Lego build to round things out just for the heck of it. So if any of that sounds good, please feel free to hit the follow button. And I do have a bit of a video to welcome you in properly. Hopefully, here two minutes. Okay. Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, shoot. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Whoa. Yes, whoa. <laughs> okay, that. Let's go for it. Oh.
Hey, I have not... I have not looted that, sir. May still be coming, actually. <laughs> I did. <laughs> ah, oh my <laughs> Wow There you go That's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around these parts so, thank you so much for the raid, Tap Girl. I really appreciate that. We're playing some Grounded. I can't say it's technically for my very first time ever. I have played the game before, but I last played it years ago when it first went into early access. So, I don't really remember it terribly well, and a lot has changed since those days as well. So, we're just kind of exploring a little bit, trying to stay alive. That good stuff. Yeah, I think that's where I spawned in originally, isn't it? It's like that same ground area. Here. That looks like a garden. Oh. Don't like the look of that. Don't like the sound of that either. You go tangle with the ladybug instead. Now I do notice my food gauge is getting pretty low. Oh, 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 oh. Keep a creature? What? Taking a look. Wait till I've got a creature to peep. Oh, you for example. Right here. Back here. You're mine. <laughs> Two red ant parts. Okay. Now, do I have to keep an eye on this to not overcook them, or what's the deal? I know very little about this game other than that a lot of people like it. I'm arachnophobic and even I like it. And it's beef jerky. Yep, just beef jerky. That's it. Got one. 
Red worker ant. Ant spotted. Hey, Mr. Ant. Huh. You discovered red ant head. Excellent. Back. Where did that ant go. I like that their eyes start glowing red as soon as you go hostile on them. Normal chair, red ant club. Oh, we have ads in progress. Hang on just a second real quick. Long story short, Hamlin took a completely routine normal hit at just the wrong time in its heart's beating cycle Monday night, and it put him into cardiac arrest. Since been helped, awoken, and spoken to players, they rally around him. It's been heartwarming to see, honestly. Cool. Okay. So basically, you're a tiny person trying to stay alive and hopefully return to normal size, I assume. I'll be back in just a moment, folks. We have ads in progress. I'm just going to go to clips real quick. Okay, um, man, I don't want to tell you your business, but there's a bed right there. It's right there. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Really? Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. A meteor strike has occurred. Yes, don't Avoid say. the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. For the founder. For the founder. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, there we go. I'm hoping that by starting to murder all of the red ants that come out this way, their scent trails will go cold and I will get to stop murdering them sooner. That aphid honeydew. Red worker ant mount stuffed red worker ant. Oh, that was uncommon, so I got more brain power for it. Very nice. Spoiled meat. Spoiled meat slurry. Yum.
Craft a fiber bandage. Just a scratch. That would have been a more accurate description early on in the game's development. It since had a ton added and even went full release, yes. You found Life Pod 6, congratulations. That'll give you a bit more direction. Okay, let's see what else we can do here. Can I do... I can't do acorn stuff yet. Okay, so I've got a red, aunt, red ant head. I've got red ant parts. But I need mite fucks. I haven't seen mites since the on. Maybe I should look at making a proper weapon so I'm not just using my axe as a catch-all for everything. Red Ant Club. I don't have mandibles. Make a pebblet spear. A basic stabby weapon to keep creatures at bay can also be thrown for a deadly amount of damage. Yeah, I like the sound of that. Sprig bow. I still need more gnat fuzz for that. Weevil shield. Rub hunt. Spiky sprig, a weaponized sprig with thorns at the end. Need thistle needle. Let's go with the spear. Okay, watch out, bugs. I'm armed and armored now. I like the spear. Spear is good. Oh, what's this giant thing? I realize that doesn't really narrow it down any. Oh. What's that giant thing? That looks like entirely good news all around. Oh, that's a rake. That's funny. That's where I woke up. That's funnier. Moving up in this shrunken and oversized world? Yes. Know it. Okay, let's see. Acorn shovel, so used to dig up grubs. Need an acorn shell.
handcraft stuff just for the purpose of analyzing it. Science. No new recipes. I heard. But I got a hefty amount of brain power for that. So not bad. Buzz on the rocks. That sounds disgusting. Eat clay. Excuse me. That's my food. Oh my god. Wow. It's a good thing I made bandages. My plan to dissuade them from coming here by making the scent trail go away doesn't seem to be working very well. I have a fear of giant spiders, yet I'm watching this. I have arachnophobia myself, so don't you worry. And right now, even though I said I wasn't going to use arachnophobia mode, I actually did turn on the lightest version of it. So, it's not showing spiders looking quite like spiders. They're slightly simplified and only have four legs. So far so good, Med. How are you doing? It's good to see you. All is well. I think we have to investigate this. It does seem to be the focal point of these things. In it. Practical technologies. Leviathan got you. Is playing cyberpunk and it's addicting? It really is, isn't it? Cyberpunk is great. Oh, what are you? Really fast is what you are. I'm gonna get you. Yeah, anyway. That. Drop a cop huncho. Discovered juice drop. Oh. Starting to get a bit late again.
Gotta find Life Pod 7, but there was a Reaper? Yeah, that'll happen. Like this, this thing, thing hooks up, up with those lasers. lasers. I don't think that worked properly. It seems like the machine needs all three lasers to function. Maybe there's a way to fix them? Seems easy enough. Crossing. Uh oh. Okay, so one of the lasers is not full strength. Ant spotted. Anything new? Oh, I need a grinder. Okay. Arrows, torch, taps, gaunts. Oh, I never made a hammer, did I? Woman. I can do a hammer. You win this round. Mostly because I don't feel like chasing you. The Reaper, the Reaper roaring or the Aurora rumbling. I am going to say nothing. Let's see if we can get some new resources this morning. Taking a look.
Handy right here. Discovered dandelion tuft. Okay. I can't analyze dandelion tuft. What the heck? That's weird. A puffy, fluffy puff of dandelion stuff could be used to drift down from great heights. So, your basic parachute. You guys are not supposed to cross near here. When are you going to learn? Okay, now, um, he do. No water filtration tablets needed. He got you again, oh no. You'll get it one of these days. Give it heck. New one for the beast, Jerry. Alright, what's this? Husky weed. I need a better chopping thingy. The technical term. Whoa, why don't you just stay over there, small red insect? Lawn mites. Oh, those are the things that killed me earlier. That was revenge for last time. David. I live again. Let's go this way because that's back towards the machine, and I know where I am relative to the machine. Look, <laughs> head crabs. Kinda. How are you doing tonight, Jim, by the way? All is well with you. Aphid as a pet. 
Let's not. Fewer bugs we have hanging around, the better. What? Where did all my grass stuff go? I've been robbed. That's rude. Rude as heck. Yeah, I didn't get enough dew, so let's go back to the juice box. Oh, look. It goes away after a few days? Okay, good to know. I assume that's what you were talking about then. Saw something here. fix. Oh, this is the mint box. Okay. Ant crossing. Too many ants for me to take them on, I think. That ant go. That's true. It's not like we're gonna run out of glass blades, and it's also, if we're being entirely fair and honest about it, it's not like I actually had an immediate plan for them. Okay. Just one moment. It's time to welcome a new lore seeker to the library. Thank you for the follow. Thank you indeed. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Draw Weevil Meat. Favorite. Probably use them as a distraction. For the, use what as a distraction? The grass blades? No, I don't think so. In order to serve as a distraction, the ants would have to have some kind of an interest in them. They don't appear to. Oh. 
36 of 40 inventory slots. Bad news. That means I need to craft some sort of a backpack. Taking a look. Oh. Yep. Let's uh, let's not go that way. The December patch increased inventory from 30 to 40. That's very unfortunate. That's not going to play well with my habit of picking up every single thing. Aphids, nature's lollipops. What? Lollipops? Only like twelve forty eight? Oh god, we've got lots of time. Okay. Doubt in that, say intentions. Your flight path is not cleared. So that's the gnat. That's why I haven't found any more of them. Oh, food. So Thank you. That's true. I probably should be crafting stuff. Instead of just forever accumulating everything. I feel like taking this on. Billy Hog Bite? What? They don't just appear in the same place. Got it. Choke it down, Pete. Tremor detected. But something's afoot. Oh. I'm gonna take that as a warning. Okay. I don't look at the map enough. We're here. Puncho's there, mysterious machine, ice caps. Oh, what is that? Field stations, that's where I live. Oh, that's a big yard. We barely covered any of it. Good luck hitting any home runs with that baseball these days. What do you mean? Oh, 
way. Okay. Oh, I've got like a million plant fiber. Shoot. Laser are you, you good laser. The bad laser. Got it, got it, got it. Yes. Th that baseball right there. At my current size in the game, that would be a little bit problem. It's true. Okay, what do you do here? I guess I can make a basket. Well, that's rude. I need crude ropes and silver leaves. But at least I've got a little space now. So now I need what twelve clover leaves? I could be Oh, I'm not actually... I'm so hungry, I keep making these evil roasts and then just not consuming them. Mmm. Not bad. Go. One thing I found, base building is fun for a very elevated view to see more easily where spiders are. Elevated view? Where would you build a base from an elevated point of view? I mean, I don't doubt that there are places to... I'm curious. Man, it's been a while since I found anything to analyze. You can build very far up. Okay, interesting, Aaron. Is 
there no way to sort in? there. Yes, of some Canadians. It's my understanding that the milk bag thing is not actually universally Canadian. Not all places use them. Not yet, anyway. Civilization to take time to spread. You are easily unnerved. Bag milk is the way milk was to be consumed. Although I have to admit, in more recent years, not as comfy with the amount of plastic it uses as I. Yeah, I think I lost my cup there. That's interesting. my spear. Can I recover it? Again. Oh, I actually threw it pretty far. Damn, it's got range! Ow! Okay. What the heck is making that sound? What the heck? You oh that's that's juice drop. Fine. A little chewy, but not bad.
Taking a look. Okay. Not liking how this is looking. That looks bad. That is a big spider. I don't think I'm high enough level to take on such a foe. Mm, yep. You are correct, sir. Okay. Things are going a little smallly. How's it going when you bring light in? It's good to see you. I like that the character actually specifically tells you. It's a terrible idea, don't even try. Did I accidentally nail you too, sir? Mutation detected annihilator. Oh my god, what? I didn't know there was a mutation. So oh, shoot. Okay, good to know. That does not actually pause the game. do that but now I guess my bathing needs are taken care of for the next couple of days you get the option to improve your anticipation skills I hopefully will find out very shortly Let's see oh Drop. no water filtration tablets needed they get now, but biometrics mutations. The ant has become a familiar threat, and you begin to know your enemy inside and out. Death and devastation greet all ants that face you. I get bonus ant damage. That's amazing. I love it. I appreciate that, CD. It's so much more fun to discover it on your own. Oh, poor guy's got allergies. What? Put him out of his misery, then. I could use the food. I had no idea there was a mutation system in this game. It just became, like, even more fun. That's awesome. That's so cool. Now, I suppose I still don't have anything new to analyze, huh? I need to come up with a chicken tortilla soup recipe tomorrow. You lost your old recipe, so you're trying to make a new one up. That actually sounds really good, Greeny. I'm sure whatever you come up with is going to be delicious.
Oh, taking a look. Mark that one off the list. That is freaking honestly a little bit terrifying, but really cool. Be a lot worse if it were like um, a wasp or something. Oh, so bad. So I've been collecting ant fuzz, or mite fuzz, rather, by killing these guys. Actually, really good, because I needed that to craft something, I believe. Go check on my crafting recipes. Where do I live again? Past the giant leaf here. There it is. Just make tortilla soup and add chicken. Wow, Aranor. An anti-pasto. Wow. The terrifying thing about this game is that my brain is continually trying to make ant puns. That's not terrifying. That's expected behavior and to be applauded. Oh, I can do it. I can make the helmet now. That should keep me safe. Mm, safe fur. Red ant knee guards. I need more mite fuzz. Acid gland. Mite hat. A fuzzy, stylish hat that releases that increases stamina efficiency. Whether it's for an injury strategy or just plain fashion, this eye patch will do the job. A wearable weevil face that filters hazardous haze. Oh, look at that. That's badass. The anchovies? Oh god, that's terrible. We will forgive you, oh my god. You guys are rolling all nat 20s on the insect funds. might like all the puns? Maybe. suppose we've taken care of the problem now, have we? Or do we have to follow this down into the scary dark? Which would be the purpose of torches, I suppose.
Okay, let's see. I don't need... That's a part. Okay. Oh, the armor has a durability as well. Interesting. So I need acid gland for those. I don't have them, but I can make the red ant knee guards. Feeling a little safer now. There's no body armor made out of ant stuff that I can see. Oh, that's cool because I built the storage in range. I get to use stuff from in it. That's I. That's a really nice feature. I really like that a lot. That's incredibly convenient. That makes me far more likely to want to use a lot of storage items. Kudos to them on that. Hold on a tick now. Oh, that's true. Sorry. Joke. Uh, let me just... Where are we? Let me make sure we're actually... There we go. Paused. Okay. Why didn't the kids want to go to the Coca-Cola factory? Because of the pop quizzes. There you go. When near your chest, learn to love the end button. What does that do with time? Hang on. It'll probably tell me. Um, no, it doesn't tell me. Okay. Well, we're about a minute out from ads beginning, so if you guys will bear with me, I'm going to go take a quick break. So if you need to get up and grab some food or a snack or a drink or anything, uh, now's a really good time, and I'll be back in probably less than three minutes. But maybe three and a half to five. We'll see. Store everything you have given a spot to its location. For the okay, that's cool. We'll talk. Okay, um, man, I don't want to tell you your business, but there's a bed right there. It's right there. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Really? Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. A meteor strike has occurred. Yes, don't Avoid say. the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. For the founder. For the founder. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 They've lost my trail because I am so incredibly inconspicuous. 
When you die, you leave behind a Neko, which can be revived by other players. That's cool. Holy crap, Lady Devon! That's awesome! Lady Devon is another streamer. I don't know if you guys know her, but I know her. She's awesome. So apparently she's playing this. What? Who designed this vessel? Oh my. Now you know why they wanted to close the hole behind you. You have become the unwilling victim of the dreaded cave squid. Tough luck. You know, I think that might very well be the very first time I have ever seen the cave squid. Ten. Nine. Eight. Here it comes. It's coming from the building. Change course. Set thrusters to full. That's just fireworks, right? A meteor strike has occurred. Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. Well... <laughs> oh, come on. Tell me about Loom. For old time's sake. Beat it. <laughs> Say it. Say it. No! <laughs> Say it. Fine. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic. Stunning, high-resolution 3D landscapes, sophisticated score and musical effects. Not to mention the detailed animation and special effects, elegant point-and-click control of characters, objects, and magic spells. Beat the rush! Go out and buy Loom today. Yes! Now get lost. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Fan service. Always. Okay, I'm back. Okay. Now, what were we working on? Or what we were. Thank you, Aaron Lord. Thank you, Winters. Thank you, Grob. Um. EC. Oh, that is really, really excellent. Thank you, Atai. Spear, Peblet, Peblet, accept all those. At the I need to figure out how to order hats. Crap, where'd it go? 
Holy crap, how did it get all the way over there? Use me game? Starting to think maybe building an, an extra pebblet spear is not the worst idea. If you hit what you're aiming at, it seems to work pretty well. Oh. Taking a look. Oh, is that a feather? But Pro Feather. Oh, that's some kind of... Oh, it's weed killer. That's the stuff I wandered into earlier. That was what was killing the red ants, and nearly me. Okay, seriously, what's making this trippy noise? Okay, what is this SCA thing that keeps popping up? I'm enjoying the antics so far that if I see a spider... Nice. I will treat it with the antipathy befitting this most repugnant antagonist. Well... I just turned back from the lair of a spider. There were webs up there. We saw an orb weaver earlier. <laughs> the SCA thing is data. Well, I need to level up because it also, the character actually commented on the fact that we're not high enough level yet to take on an orb weaver. Grounded's version of the PDA. Okay. Okay. Good trophies.
well start collecting some material for real. Oh, that's cool with that. I don't think I have enough that I'm going to worry about it too much, but good to know. grass chunk. Definitely the first time I've harvested that. I wonder if I could keep that aphid as a pet. No. Just living its best life, leave it alone. Oh, we did analyze that already. Man! Can't I find if I anything. Could keep that aphid as a pet. No! I just said no. No pets. Gab is basically the PDA, but if it was a bracelet watch type thing that showed your hunger bar and water stamina. Got it. Okay. Oh, thank you, Matt. Just give me a moment here. Okay. Big stretch. Thank you. Needed that. Oh, Mad, thank you so much for stopping in. I really appreciate it. Have a fantastic evening. Go. Think you have your recipe. I guess I shouldn't ask what it's going to be. Can you give a general idea without actually giving up the recipe itself of what kind of stuff is going to be in it? Wait, I have food. Just 
pretend it's beef jerky. <laughs> Chicken. Okay, that's fair, Greeny. Understood. <laughs> I guess I've been using the spear a lot. It's uh, losing durability pretty quickly. The original. This. Oh, there you go. Taking a look. Okay, so the orb weaver weakness is spicy. sure what that actually means but oh damn it wow they really bounce oh the death redeem okay california we can do that <clears throat> hate being sick you're going through fluids fast Onion, corn, seeded jalapenos, diced tomatoes, garlic, cumin, chili pepper, onion powder, salt, pepper, fresh squeezed lime juice. Oh, you won me over already with that. I mean, I was already on board, but I love lime. Some chicken broth and a roux as well. That sounds amazing, Greeny. It's supposed to. It's supposed to. That's part of the arachnophobia thing. I wanted to be able to see the legs, but I didn't necessarily have to be able to see all of the legs. Just makes it a lo look less like an actual spider. They do look a lot more polite in your version. Oh, that's nasty water. Okay. There's going to turn out to be some use for nasty water, isn't there? That's why it's there, California. I've had the rising desk, the standing desk, for about a year now. And I knew I wasn't going to use it enough if I didn't hey, include Mr. a way. Ah! Ah! Oh crap, where'd it go? I think you walked off with my spear. station <laughs> guys keep it down there please Please. 
transcription unit 89.4.14. Order number 80. Burgle, are you there? Yes, sir. It appears that the shrinking process has not overly affected my functionality. I do not know how this is possible. I previously believed that all the parts of my functional unit were required for operation, but apparently they were not. Perhaps that means I have some extra storage space. Haha, <laughs> very philosophical. Do you feel anything else? No, everything appears to be the same. Now, I have come to realize that this world is absolutely covered in filth. It is quite concerning. You may wish to wash your hands before returning to work. <laughs> very nice. First shrinking. Okay. Uh, oh my god. Look at the apple core. That's a hot dog? Or half of one, anyway. Sorry. Billy Hogs moist and meaty. Yum. Suppose I can harvest some of that. I need a better tool. Popular spot for the ant crowd. Zap clump. Shoot, where'd my spear go? I just threw both of them. Uh. Where's my marker when I need it? I can let the ants kill them for me. Oh, there's one of them. I actually hit with it. It wasn't enough to kill them. Thanks, guys. I promise I won't murder all of you. Oh, I hit with both of them. original 1982 yoked girth action figure. Well, some of them, anyway. Well, there's one spiderling, there's bound to be more of them. Oh, 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 oh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm. Thank you to head off in a different direction. Oh. Got webs over here too.
I have no idea, California. I don't know what a German cockroach is. I mean, presumably it's a cockroach of some description. Possibly from Germany. Beyond that, couldn't tell you. leave my house. That's the drink thingy. Oh, there it is. What the? Is that a bird? It's gotta be a crow, right? Because we found a crow feather. Brown color with six legs. Palmetto bugs are roaches that fly and are twice as big. Found out that terminates are also technically part of the roach family. Figures. Taking a look. Oh my gosh, that is a bird. You know what would be a really good idea? Wander really close to the bird. We might catch its eye that way and get a ride out of here. I'm sure that's exactly what would happen. Hey, Voidum, how's it going? Oh, we haven't had a ladybug here in a little while. Got one. Weaknesses, busting, fresh. Resistances, stabbing, salty, spicy. Weak points, legs. Killed 18 weevils. You've tangled a lot of ladybugs, but never knew about the legs. Okay, so they're like a mini boss. I'm not gonna try and murder one yet. Oh crap.
Oh, 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 oh. Where'd he go? Where did you go? Japanese beetles are in this game. They're just orange ladybugs. I've seen them around this area before, but that I don't know. Apparently, there's a lot of stuff that you can find. Apparently, you can even find just a random tarantula. Because, of course, they would have to have a tarantula in a game where spiders are the main adversary. C to crouch? That doesn't seem to work. C brings up craft. Weakness is stabbing, spicing, spicy. I don't want to try to kill one, but it's probably going to hurt a lot. A regular one. I want a uh, soldier. Of course, the problem is, this close to the... Yeah, that's that's their anthill. I'm going to assume it would be pretty suicidal to attack one, or any type of them, that close to the anthill. That's just asking for major problems. Keep changing this recipe. That's okay. It's not finished until you make it and decide, hey, this is pretty good, this is the recipe. God, there's a lot of them. Oh my god. Why are there so many of them? Wow.
Ooh. Okay, those ones were far enough away. I think we're gonna leave them in peace. Was that and that bird just loves hanging around? Hey, Mr. Soggy Roman. Oh, damn it. Looks like I missed another uh, ad break thing. Oh, damn it. Now he's running away with my spear. holding a grudge, but one of them is holding my spear. Probably never going to see that one again. Wow, I've got some level 6 stuff unlocked already. Nice. Evil roast spoiled. Okay. We need water. Water, there's water. seem to have lost it, unfortunately. Oh, wait, is that... There we go. Don't even need to boil it. That's it? Just two measly planks? Wow. <laughs> wow, we're in the... I mean, you're not wrong, but even so.
Okay, so that's water dealt with. Let's see about food. Mmm. Salt. Okay, so where have we been now? That's the punch, that's the mint, that's the baseball, that's the yoked girth head, that's the, uh, the second field station. So there could potentially be quite a few field stations around. This beer I was aware of. That happened. Maybe the ant that I speared died. Or maybe it shucked the uh, spear out, got rid of it. Taking a look. Don't know what that is. Hmm. Ranged weaponry only sticks in animals for a short while and then they get dropped. Okay, so basically I'm unbelievably lucky that I happened to come across it again. Is what you're saying. Still not brave enough to go there yet. I've had no indication that I've leveled up at all, let alone enough to take on an orb weaver. Hey, Vera Johnson, how's it going? I suppose I can cut these, huh? Oh, I can. I was, oh, right, dandelion. I've done dandelion before. Where did the puffy stuff go? There it is. Levels in this game is all about your skills, your defensive gear, and your offensive gear. Well, obviously the puffy stuff, Greeny. What else would you call it?
Um, Plank pallet, stem pallet. Stems conveniently stacked. I guess it's got to be that. I need another crude rope. Make one of those. Looks like five. I noticed that pretty early on. Any particular reason, Watai? Why is it significant how many I can carry at the same time? I mean, it looks like I can carry six of these things. No problem, CD. My pleasure. I hope you feel better soon. Your ant gear... Oh, gives plus one per armor piece. Oh, very nice, Watai. I only have a couple of the pieces, though, I think, don't I? Or did I do more of it? Actually, I should check and see if I can make more of it now, come to think of it. I don't have the arm guards yet. Oh, because I still need acid glands. Armor has different bonuses as you have two ant armor. You can carry seven now instead of five. A pappas? I have to sit down again now. I don't think there's any reason to be nervous about them recreating the woolly mammoth. I would feel pretty bad for the mammoths. This is not exactly the environment that 
they last lived in. It would not be a terribly friendly environment for them to be in. Look at that ant go. Go ant go. <laughs> I have not yet managed to kill an aphid. Not anymore, he doesn't. That's a spider. Taking a look. That's a spider getting a lot closer. Justin is for it, Blair is not. That's true, Aranar. Tame a ladybug, they love to eat aphids. I don't think that taming is a thing. I might be wrong about that. They have talked about keeping aphids as pets a number of times in the game so far. I haven't heard anything about taming ladybugs, though. And I don't really have any intention of keeping any kind of pets. <laughs> I would like to get more mutations, though. That would be pretty fun. Have a good night, Bob. Thank you for hanging out. So far, playing the game seems to be very similar to playing Assassin's Creed. Except... You're mostly killing bugs and avoiding spiders. Oh, we're back at the anthill again. Probably not the best place to hang out. again. Weed killer over there. The weed killer seems pretty good at killing us too. Oh, what are you? off the list stink bug i actually need stink bug something or other oh there's lots of them here what the heck
Uh, so that cloud they emit, that lasts a good while. All kinds of them over here. I spy. Uh oh. Okay, so I pretty specifically, I don't think I can get close to the house because of the toxic cloud. I was wondering how they were going to handle that. What? wonder if the stink bugs are automatically hostile. Those stink bugs are a real annoyance. You discovered Mixer. Unauthorized access. Stabbing, crash, resistance is none. Let's try it. I may have made a mistake. I don't think that's gonna go well. Gabby Cola and an Oreo. That's cute. Yes, I can go inside this can. Wow. Hey, Mr. Ant. Oh, crap. There's... Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, we're in spider territory. Oh, we're in mega spider territory. I don't know where we are. Except that we don't really want to be here. No, I have not Tagarong. Oh, and now, of course, it's starting to get late. took a wrong turn somewhere. Okay, so we, that's field station. It's basically when a beeline, unfully intended. Here's the ant hill. Stay clear of the hunt. Where we spawned. Okay. We are safe. Or at least we're not as dead. What are you going after, buddy? Back at Albuquerque. I've been trying this entire time, prob not a person. 
Aphids are really tough to kill. They're very fast. I have not yet managed it. Excuse me. Once you know the knack, you'll kill them at will? Okay, well, that is clearly not a thing that I know just now. in my backyard here, sir. Dead. Oh, I got the mandibles. Okay. Mission successful. I killed one. There is a trick to killing aphids. Is it throwing spears at them while they're perched on a leaf? Because that seems to work pretty well. New stuff to analyze. Nice. Science. Workers come up. <laughs> Stuffed red soldier ant, red soldier ant mount. Grub vest, grub leggings, grub goggles. Stuffed ape aphid slippers? What? Gross. Oh, acid gland. Okay, so you get them from soldier ants. Got it. Bug rubber. Nice. Red Ant Club. I need crude rope and one more red ant mandible. But we need to worry a little bit more about water right now before we do about those things. What the hell is that noise? Oh, I think that's the game telling me that I'm getting hungry and thirsty. And that I'd better take care of myself better. Or I'm not going to be able to take on any more soldier ants or anything else for that matter. Yeah. 
Water, water, where'd you go? There you are. No water filtration tablets needed. Wait. Damn it. I am too good at gathering, it would seem. Just close your eyes and imagine it's a fruit pounder. Not your chosen way, but just as valid? Okay, fair enough. I think I missed my opportunity for morning dew, but I thought I saw a drop around here. If I can find juice. Ah, there's juice. I won't worry about dew. It's a shame you can't, well, actually, maybe I shouldn't say that. Maybe it is possible to master the pheromones of various insects and lure an entire army of ants to take out spiders for you. That would be pretty awesome. Where'd you go? <laughs> oh crap. So now that I have my own method for killing aphids, what is your preferred method? That's one of quite a few ways to do it. Okay. While I approve of your lawnmower technique to get water, in case you need the info, the first hit drops the dew. Okay. That's good to know, too. Gonna go to sleep and gonna keep the stream on. I appreciate that, Prob. Have a fantastic night and thank you for stopping in. It was good to see you again. Right, you run away.
I wait for them to climb the blades, hit that blade, and let gravity do the work. Oh, interesting, CD. Two methods I use. Bare hand hit the grass, it drops and hurts itself. Do it twice, dead aphid. My preferred method is bow and arrow. <coughs> bow and arrow, though. I don't think I can really do bow and arrow yet, though. But uh, that is a good reminder that I should probably check every now and then. Bug rubber, a handcrafted sludge of sap and carefully milked acid gland that hardens into a makeshift rubber material. Grub goggles, stylish goggles crafted from smooth grub hide strips, increases maximum stamina with aerodynamic. <coughs> An aerodynamic vest made from smooth grub hide leather that lends a boost to maximum stamina. A pair of slippers made from slippery aphid meat. Not very effective defensively, but makes you run like the dickens. Slick and sick grub hide leggings that increase maximum stamina. It'll work with one hit if from high enough height. Nice. Wow, Mr. Soggy Ramen. Okay, I should probably make one or two of these. Worker's Comp. The power of an ant in the palm of your hand. Drinking this makes you feel like you can haul more. test your theory about the aphids. I used it or not? One. Excuse me, I'm going to have to rob you of that. Sorry. Uh. Gotta be honest, I'm really not all that sorry. Crossing. And they are really going to town on this thing. Oh, Mr. Doggy Ramen. Well played. I will applaud that one. Spider territory again. Is 
That's why. Taking a look. You know, spider territory sure is popular with other insects for some reason. I mean, I suppose that's probably why the spider made it its territory. Can't spot it. Dude, this is like the 50 millionth ant we've spotted in the last five minutes. the baseball there's an aphid still water I lost the water drop Right up there with a drop of water. Andy. Lucky. Or not, really. Is that not the one? Where'd you go? Oh, no. Fell onto the one below.
see aphid. Honestly, I kind of like mine. It's too much hunting and tracking them that way. Maybe seems like a kind of a petty reason not to care for it, but go. Grab the hunt. Get some ropes. Okay, now here's a question of practice for you guys. What's the best way to kill the soldier ants? I'm assuming that wandering out this way, getting real close to this entrance to the hive, is a pretty terrible way to do it. Just because of the sheer number of them that are likely to come eat your face when you start combat. You only need to kill one. I already killed one, Aranthor. It's not true that I only need to kill one. I have to kill at least two. Learn to block and block its attacks. Blocking's for suckers, though. Blocking uses an action that could otherwise be used in an offensive action. Fair chasing spears is why I picked that method. Oh, that's honestly that's a reason. But with future enemies, blocking is needed. Okay, fair. some bugs you will need that? Okay. Well, maybe I'll have a look at the craft requirements. I don't think I'm... He's... I'm... I don't think I'm able to craft it yet, but... I need more gnat puzz. Still can't get that stink bug part. Get aphid slippers. Walking alone is all I need along with a spear to take out ladybugs. Really? But ladybugs are specifically strong against pokey things, the technical term.
What about in sewer ants and their policy? Wow. Hang on. Okay. Go to sleep yet? Wait. What's the most dreaded bug of them all? The best. <laughs> Greeny. <laughs> They're not, in fairness, they're not always dreaded. Sometimes they are pure comedy gold. Oh, thank you for the hydrate. The RES, but if you're good enough at blocking the spear attacks fast enough to job. Okay. Just realized I'm about out of water. I never did manage to get any of those drops that I tried to dislodge. Good greeny. I like creamy soups. I tend to prefer them to the thinner ones. Okay, let's see. You're gonna consume it's that. Rice, and imagine it's a fruit pounder. I'm sure this is totally fine. It's not a problem. the water again what the heck why is the water disappearing you go try the juice oh ads are in progress I'll be back in a moment a little eerie. Am I being attacked by chickens? When you die, you leave behind a Neko which can be revived by other players. That's cool. Holy crap! Lady Devon! That's awesome! Lady Devon is another streamer. I don't know if you guys know her, but I know her. She's awesome. So apparently she's playing this. Come on. 
Oh my god. I don't know where we're going with this. I'm a little nervous. Wow. Because of his sunburn, the map on Palado's back is peeling off. Oh. I really wish I didn't have to do that. The treasure is mine. Okay, I'm back. Thank you. Thank you, Greenie. Thank you, Aranor. Thank you, Atai. Thank you, Sketchy. How's it going? It's good to see you. I'm kind of dying of thirst a little bit, but other than that, things are going okay. Juice. And need juice. I could use something to drink. Yep. Drink or die. Thank you, game. How convenient. There we go. That time it worked. Sunburn map people is funny and gross. Curious, those of you who have seen that clip before, did you notice any difference with it this time when watching it? No, not really? Good. That is actually a good answer. Because it's a completely different version of the clip, I redid all of the Monkey Island ones, except for Return to Monkey Island. I didn't touch those ones. But all of the Secret of Monkey Island, all of the Chuck's Revenge. Back here. Not done with you. Where'd you go? Yeah. Oh, you son of a gun. You went for reinforcements. Fine, you win. Edit it a little differently? Yes, that's right, Tigerong. Basically, I redid them all because I learned a whole bunch of stuff about how to effectively use DaVinci Resolve, and so I did the entire thing in a single app, whereas for the last year or so, 
since October of 2021. I've been using two programs to create all of my clips because I didn't like the way that uh, text was handled in the video editor. And so now I've just decided, okay, I can deal with the way text is handled more easily than I can deal with uh, having to switch programs and it taking several times longer than it needs to. So now it's really, really, really fast to make all the clip stuff. So I can do it all in line in the editor and the changes are really, really easy to make and it's really good. Also, I don't have to store many, many gigabytes of uh, you know, image files to layer into the clips when I make them. Seemed to be higher quality, but maybe that's just because the clip player was not skipping frames. Last time I saw that clip. Okay. I have no idea if I can make traps or not, Mr. Soggy Ramen. Da Vinci Resolve, sketchy. But I've only started using that one relatively recently. For most of the last year or so since 2021, I had been using Adobe Premiere Elements. Which is pretty good. I mean, I'm not knocking that one. It's a good program. Man, the ants are on an absolute tear today. What is going on with them? They're so hostile. Mites are no match for the might of small people. Ow. Oh, crap. You know what, Greeny? I totally forgot. I will do that after stream tonight, because I'm going to have a lot of extra time that I normally don't have. Oh. Oh, this is what you need a shovel for. Uh, yeah, I forgot to mention on stream, actually. I think I've talked about the fact that I was getting new internet, and I think the other day I mentioned that I wasn't getting the full impact of the speed... Yesterday, I did mention that I plugged my computer directly into the uh, the modem, and I was able to get much better speed out of it. Well, when I downloaded uh, yesterday's stream, it was really, really fast to download, much faster than usual, so that was a huge plus. But the real benefit was when I went and then uploaded it to YouTube. Usually what happens is I'll go in and I'll start the upload and I'll enter in the, uh, you know, the metadata, type in all the information you need to upload a video. And then it'll typically be about 2 or 3% complete with the upload, and it'll have a couple of hours to go. Last night, by the time I was done typing everything in, it was 70% complete. 70%. And it finished less than one minute later. So, I will have lots of time to check out the video tonight. Clean. That was, uh, I, I, I basically, I stared at the upload status and I couldn't stop laughing. I was so happy about it. <laughs> I 
Okay, let's see. Oh no, I'm talking about the ants are more hostile because, or uh, more hostile compared to how they have been for however long I've been playing the game tonight. I don't remember encountering the ants at all last time I played. I might have seen one or two, but I didn't really interact with them that much. The thing that kind of really excites me about the upload speed, it's, it's, you know, it's really good to be able to get the nightly bot upload done so fast. That's a big relief in a lot of ways. But even more, it's the, uh, you know, the big backlog of 2022 bots that I've still got sitting on my hard drives waiting to be uploaded, because that was going to potentially take months maybe years to upload everything just because of how long it took but now it's still going to take a while because there's a lot of them but it's not going to be nearly that bad oh we're coming up on yeah hell we Separated from the pack, are we? And being weakened by a ladybug? Oh, not so separated. Maybe never mind. Maybe I'll just see if the ladybug can take one or two of them out. Yep, that's a lot of them. Oh. Um. I'm not sure if they've decided I'm not a threat or if they're just more interested in the ladybug. But one of them looked awfully close to death. Acid gland number two, yep. That's an important thing to keep in mind in these games. Don't hesitate to be opportunistic as hell. Ant crossing! Also, ladybugs are heckin' tough. The thing took a frickin' beating. And won. Okay, Red Ant Club, I can do it. Oh, man, the Red Ant Club... Look at the... The speed is terrible, but the damage compared to the spear? Damn. What was the axe's damage? Roughly the same as the spear. But it's a lot slower. Okay, we're gonna do that. Evil shield. Grub hides and raw weevil meat. And 
now, yes, the acid gland, so I can do the arm guards. I feel a little less squishy now. Oh, that is your body armor. Huh. Okay. And now we have to test this out, obviously. I don't love how much of the screen it occupies, I gotta tell you. There's a raid mechanic that doesn't fully work, but if you kill a bunch of, of bug in a short time, they will get more and more hostile. And if you kill enough, you will get a message that X bugs wants you gone such as red ants want you gone, and then the part that doesn't work is after that message, the bug type is supposed to attack you in a mass, in a raid. That's kind of hilarious. Also terrifying. Hopefully they don't make that work. Nice. Beady red ant leg, perfect for beatings. Yeah, okay, I don't mind the club. I think I might keep using the spear as my primary weapon just because of the strike speed of the club and how much of the screen it takes up. Not a big fan of that. But I like the damage. Gotta see what's going on with that one. That does work these days, my friend Wiggles and I have been through it many times lately. So I could be absolutely swarmed by weevils. I need grub hide. Which means I guess I need to figure out where you get acorns. Presumably there's a tree around somewhere that would help with that. That looks fairly oak-like. Oh, oh, of course it would be this way. That takes you right through orb weaver territory. Why wouldn't it go this way?
Oh. Yep. Yep. I think no. Not today. I wonder if I could keep that aphid as a pet. No. No, you can't. One long schnoz built for sniffing. Weebles are not your threat. I would be more worried by wolf spiders want you gone. <laughs> okay, there. Oh, this looks like a uh, maple. Sadly, maple trees don't really drop acorns as a rule. he's going to figure it out more than two steps away from home is terrifying. I kind of figured that out when I got attacked by a soldier ant just a few steps out in my own backyard. I mean, my really tiny local backyard, not the overall backyard, which might not even be the main character's home. Got it. Micro back yes, that's a good way to put it. Micro backyard. since I looked at this. Grub sludge. Mysterious goo excreted from grubs. Red ants are annoyed by you. Annoyed doesn't mean that they're going to just attack, right? It means I can stop fighting them for a while and they'll leave me alone. How does that warning work? 
or is it cumulative and it's just gonna stay that way forever until they raid me and murder my face? Gah! Here comes another homing gnat! Oh, that's neat. You can... <laughs> you can stand on those when they float in water? Good to know. That you are not entirely sure of. Okay, so... Basically, I have to be nervous for the entire rest of the game now, is what you're telling me. Also, I need food and water, I guess. Right. Not raw. Have a good rest of your night, Greeny. Thank you so much for stopping in. I will check out that video and I will let you know what I think. Oh, ads are in progress, guys. So I'm going to do my last break. And I think I'm going to get off right around 4 today. I'm tired, but uh, I'm just going to go do some clips and I'll be back in a minute. Look at that. Holy crap, it looks so nice. Not about you. Get out of my face. Oh my God, it's still only forty eight. Thank you. Wolf Chow. <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing. See, I'm not the only one. The NCPD does it too. So, once she's regained her ability to take action, I'm gonna bring her back and she can deliver the stuff that she's collected to us. <coughs> Yeah, don't forget to clip, guys. I want some good Halloween-y clips for October this year. When I, something happens to me or I do stuff. I'm clipping myself when I think of it, but... Oh, my God. Technically, we're into November Sniper now. ambush. Oh, God damn it. Ah. Oh, shit. Not now. 
add snipers to the list, apparently. Okay, I'm back. Three levels of engagement, aware, annoyed, and want gone. Raids only happen at want gone, so you're at level two with the ants right now. Thank you, Aaron Lorp. For a raid to occur, the player needs to do something that directly enrages the corresponding faction. The source of enragement is killing members of that faction. Killing enough will eventually display a warning on the screen, which indicates that the player is close to starting a raid. Once the message the faction wants you gone appears, the conditions are right for a raid to start. Okay. Another source of enragement is being in factions' territory. When in these areas, factions will passively become much more angry. So what are the different factions, then? Water filtration tablets needed. So each species, each bug type, black, red, fire, ant, spiders, etc. Okay. And of course, you don't necessarily know that you're in a particular type of territory. Although with the ants, I can kind of guess that being too close to the ant hill, not as being in the... bit now. Next question. I am noticing that my spear is pretty badly damaged right now. Is it possible to repair it or do I just replace it? Sure, I've got a few. Being a spear, I'd replace. The creatures will spawn a set distance away and will attempt to make it to the base. They tend to target storage and use more often than base structures. The raid waves are shown by the ant heads in the payback has arrived symbol. Each head is about one wave, and as the waves lessen, so heads. Once a faction is suitably enraged, they will begin to attack the player's nearest base. The player can tell what happens by the words payback has arrived that appear on the right side of the screen in the attacking faction below. Once this happens, a beacon will appear where the insects will attack and another beacon about where they are approaching. Okay, so right away, immediately, 
the question comes to mind. Can you protect yourself by building decoy bases that are for no purpose other than to actually be attacked? So could I build like a couple of structures near the anthill so that they attack the nearest base, which would technically be over there, and they actually just leave my real bases alone most of the time? If the player doesn't manage to fend off the raid, the message Payback Delivered will appear. If the player manages to kill all creatures invading and protect their base, a different message will appear to indicate that the base was defended. Creatures during these raids will mostly ignore the player and attack base structures. If they are attacked, they will retaliate. If they win, they will walk away passively and move on. Okay. What does that do to the anger level of the faction? Are they satisfied after the raid, or they just cover a set amount, or what's the... Base building. Solid wall that can keep insects outside. Like all buildings, it can be damaged by attacks. Half the variant of the grass wall. Half the variant of the grass wall with crenellations. I like that. The windowed variant of the basic grass wall. Triangular grass plank. Opens and blows. Doesn't really say, but I would assume it resets. Yeah. Excuse me. So I guess my next question is, it, it seems like it might be a good idea to build a base, but how the heck do you do that with so much grass growing everywhere? Do you have to find special areas to build in? Or what's... What Fielder. Oh, I think that broke my spear. Probably just as well. Also, I would like to note that that's the first time I've ever killed an aphid with a spear. Even if I did half kill it by dropping it first. I always assumed a reset as well. I haven't found concrete answers on that. It seems the only way to reset faction reputation is being raided. Okay. When you cut the grass, if you cut the stump left, the grass will not regrow, so you can clear that one. Next question then, is this actually a decent area to build a proper base, or should I be looking for something better? Might be nice to claim the area of the uh, you know, the drink box for my own for example, so I can have exclusive access to the drink droplets that fall. The cola can there. That's a little close to spider territory, though. God, this yard is enormous. I can't believe how big it is.
Just build for now and move later? Yeah, I suppose I could do that. I mean, that would play into my whole decoy base thing, after all. Just a quarter acre yard, yeah. Which is pretty heckin' en enormous when you're this tiny. That's hilarious. I don't know how it flew that far, but apparently that's where it ended up. Disappear after all. It depends on the stage of gear you're at. For you, I would say this would be a good base location. The thing is, it's actually worth having multiple bases. Wiggles and I have six on the map with ways to get from one to another almost instantly. Very nice, CD. Next thing I'm curious about is I've got these aphid shoes, the slipper things. That should keep me safe. Mm, safe fur. Yeah, I guess that's a bit of an upgrade to my running speed, isn't it? Scary sound. Yeah. Stop running away, damn it. Somebody shrunk us. We don't know who, Mr. Soggy Roman. We're in a pool too long and you shrunk. It was a very cold pool, okay. Also, I'm very curious, what would happen if you tried to set up a base inside here? I mean, aside from the sound driving you crazy after a short period of time. That would probably not be the best.
Well, let's start a little bit of clearing. Now, how far can I go before I place this? Because I think I am going to set up at least the start of something resembling a base out there. So I have kind of a backup of resources in case the worst happens and the ants get tired of me. Nope, it doesn't seem to have any range restriction. Maybe I'm just too far from the... Oh, the heck. There was a bee shadow there. What do I need? Dry grass, trunk, and pebblet. Bet I can find those near here. So that tablets. Grass chunk. This looks promising for that. Crowded? How do you mean? Oh, very nice. Okay. Three sap planks. Got three grass planks over there. to the electronics, but it would also be virtually impossible for the raid to actually get you.
You can always build some sort of door on the outside. Okay, so we've got a lean to. Need three more sprigs, which be enough. Theory, at least. for now. Well, actually, I guess... And more sprigs. Fire at some point. I wonder if I could keep that aphid as a pet. No. Have a good night, Tiger Run. Actually, that'd be awesome, Mr. Soggy Roman. That would be pretty amazing. Now, it doesn't really mark this on your map as being... Oh, you can place waypoints, though. good to know. Okay, so we've got that. It's not a real camp yet, but it's got the basics. Actually move some of it under here for ease of defensibility. Let's see. But at least if the worst happens and the ants do decide to get rid of me, I've now got 50-50 odds that they attack the camp I'm in. And I've got something a little bit started up again. 
so the getting started after the raid, you know, it doesn't wipe me out entirely. Mostly. Okay, I think I'm gonna save here. Oh, we've got ads starting in just a second, so I'm gonna I I'm gonna did I save? Four eleven yeah, four eleven. Okay, so I saved. Let's do some clips. We'll get through the ads and then we're gonna find somebody to raid. Nice. Was a bit preoccupied. Oh! Oh my god, how strong are these Dilophosaurus? Wow! That's not what I was expecting. Way to go, Ace. You blundered your way to within range of the pirate's jello gun. You suffocate in an impenetrable block of jello. It said, Don't touch. I warned you. <laughs> <laughs> Ken, did you hear something? For those of you not aware, this is the castle of Daventry from King's Quest. It was probably just the gators entertaining another Space Quest player. Go back to sleep, Berta. Through a strange quirk of fate, or was it? You have stumbled into a place beyond time, space, and dimension. You have entered the Daventry Zone. That's right, the land of King's Quest. This will not help you now since you are playing Space Quest. Let's see if we can find somebody to raid. Can always raid that one, dude. We could. Maybe we will. We'll see. Alright, so it looks like Laxative Legacy is playing some Horizon Zero Dawn. That is one of my favorite games, so that would be cool. Plus, Lax, of course, is always a great guy to go raid. Um, Palette Box is playing Embers Adrift. a lot of people doing I'm only sleeping streams. I don't understand those. But, you know, if it works for them, why not? 
Lunity is on. She's playing some Overwatch 2. That's about it. We've only got the three people. We've got Lax with Horizon Zero Dawn. We've got Pallet Box with Embers Adrift. Oh, actually, uh, not true. We also have Kismet. I missed him in the list. Uh, Kismet is playing some Valheim. Lunity is playing Overwatch. That's that's about. It. it has been for a long time, Aranlar. It's been years. I think. I want to say it was added around the same time as social eating, but I'm not certain about that. So whoever to me, okay. Um, let's go with Lax. I think. Let's go with Lax. See how Horizon is treating him. All right, folks, let me get you Lax's uh, link here. Laxative Legacies, longtime friend of this channel. Really good guy, really low key, kind of chill content. So if you enjoy my sort of stuff, you're going to enjoy what he gets up to as well. Plus, of course, he is playing Horizon Zero Dawn, which is one of my favorite games that I've ever streamed. That and the sequel, Forbidden West, which was maybe a little bit better even. So uh, let's get over there, see how he's doing with it, and I will be back tomorrow night. Tomorrow is Retro Sunday, so what are we going to do tomorrow? We're probably going to go back to Broken Sword, but uh, whether we do Broken Sword or not, whatever we play, you know it's going to be a good time. I hope to see you back here for that. Have a great night. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Mr. Soggy Roman. So let's, uh, let's get over to Lax's channel, see what uh, Horizon's doing, and let me... Here at the Library of Lore, we use Library Raid You've Been bookmarked with the Heart Emote and Wave Emote of the channel. If you're a sub, if you're not a sub, you can use each raid and the two trade emotes. In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emote that feels fun and appropriate for a raid. If you have emotes of your own, maybe emotes from another streamer or from Twitch themselves, feel free to copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you can use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. So, uh, yeah, let's get over to Lex's channel. I'll see you over there, and hopefully we'll see you back here tomorrow night as well. So have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening. Whatever it is where you are world, I'll catch you again real soon. didn't work so well. At this point, I should probably be level 1 or 2. I'm level... what level am I, actually? 54. You are nothing but the stupid, Oh my god. Oh god. Bad chat. 